Well, hello and welcome. Uh, once again, I am the Chloe Kaze, and the goal for today is to embrace the madness and play some Hotful Boyfriend. Um, I'm just directing the stream to project that for you. Oh, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Look at them birds. We are going to date these birds. Bird dating. Um, that's what it's all about here. Um, so, I think what we're going to do is, we, last time, um, what we had managed to accomplish is that uh, this guy up here, I actually don't know if you can see my cursor or not. Um, let's see here. Can you see that? Maybe. But the, uh, the big chonk, the chonk bird, right? Bird chonk. Um, this guy is, is Dr. Iwamine. It turns out that he serial killed me. <laughs> like, he literally, uh, cut my head off and carried around in a jar, and, uh, it was not a great date, I would say. So this time, um, we also, uh, went after Sakya, the like a beautiful fantailed bird here in the middle um who is a french uh i don't know kind of a, a french um japanese noble person um so people we have not dated we have not dated uh oksan who is a, a crazed speed pigeon uh, we have not dated the shy librarian um, whose name escapes me right now. Uh, we haven't dated uh, uh, Sakia's older brother, Yuya, who's more of a rough-and-tumble kind of French guy uh, up at the top here. And I, I don't even... Or no, the guy at the top is, um, is the teacher, that's right, uh, who we did date uh, to completion. And then at the bottom here is uh, Sakia's older brother, Yuya. So, yeah. So, both teachers X'd out. Boom. Took care of the boring teacher. Got serial murdered. Um, also, the gray bird here is, uh, I think, Ryota, our, our schoolmate, our friend. Um, what I don't have from this game that I want is I want answers. Like, I don't feel like I'm getting answers. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out who is it that I chase after that's going to give me answers, right? Um, who's going to give me the answers I seek? And um, I'm hoping that we, we find the right guy to go after that's going to, like, make this world make sense. Um... I do need to throw out the stream here on the FBs, so let me do that really quick. Even more bird dating action. All right, let me get that going. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna try and chase um, another bird. Uh, and let's see how this goes. I don't... They're saying there's a bird called Angel, which I don't think I've ever met. Um, Yuya, Sakuya. If we go after Oksan. We t did Iwamine... We gotten we've gotten a bad end on this like four different times. Um, so I think we need to just collect more endings. I think I think that's how these games usually go. You usually get everyone's ending and then you get some kind of master ending. So let's just speed run Ryota here and see how it goes. Okay. So let's do a new game. And like always, the most important thing I do here is set up a name. Uh, and that name is always going to be Mr. 
or miss, I guess, in this case. Kaze Birder. There we go. Get Birdered. I just really like when the teacher is like, uh, you know, it's better than okay. Um, and this is where you can decide if you want to see humans or birds. Why would I ever want to see humans? What's the point of that? Absolute no lamente. Let's go. Birds all day. All right, so we're going to skip the long intro section here. Um, we've done this many times. We get introduced to Ryota. I should probably make a post, like, intro uh, save just to jump all this stuff. And, like, save it in, like, the last slot on the last day. Because there's, as you can see, it's pretty considerable. Nageki is the library bird. The shy one. Never put any time in with him. There's the older brother, Yuya. I thought I actually was going to get Yuya once, and I, I must have somehow slipped up. I, I don't know what I did to lose him. Um, the thing I don't like about Hotapo Boyfriend is that it seems like there's like just one specific route by which you can get endings. Like You can't do kind of well towards an ending and get dumped there. Like If you don't land on a particular ending, I feel like the game just kills you off. And you're like, wait, how do you die dating a bunch of birds? That's a very good question. It's the kind of thing that I'm hoping to find answers to. I should have saved here because this is this is the first time that I think I have to pick something. Um, let's see. Well, I don't I don't know what Ryota needs. Does he have? I don't think Ryota cares because he's not in any of these clubs. He's not in the library. He's not in for He doesn't show up on the track team. He's on a student council. Um, so we'll just pick the student council because I know those scenes and I can skip them comfortably. All right, so let's let's blaze forward. Um, and let's see. I also think Ryota is who you get if you like don't have a specialty in anything. So let's pick something. It doesn't really matter what class or what stats I have. Um, we were chasing Dr. Iwamine. He only had respect for us if we were great at math. Um, so this is a talk with Sakia. And essentially he makes me choose which position. It doesn't really matter what I pick because you always wind up vice president. We live in a cave and this is one of the things that um, I want answers to. Man, I really should have saved before I joined a club, though. Uh, that's okay. We'll worry about it next time. Let's just go. We're speed running. What do we need? So, all right. We're going to go into a hike. This is where we have to make a decision. So we're going to pick Ryota here. So Ryota's kind of like the punk. Like, is that your lunch, Kaze? I'm like, yeah, it's a calorie. That's a pretty sad thing to bring on a picnic. But, you know, like, that's the kind of guy I think. Jeez, if you eat like that, you'll be dead on the roadside by the time we head back here. You know, like, I just feel like he's kind of a... He's kind of a weak sauce guy, you know? Like, a little bit milk toast. No real... thing about him stands out. This time we'll do some gym class. So, Oksan is a madman. Like, a literal crazed person. Cool, it's rehydration time. Oh, someone wants to go swimming. Like, I assume he talks like that. Can birds swim? Like, I mean, these birds? I know birds, there are swimming birds. Kazuaki here is our, like, narcoleptic teacher, and they, they think it's super hilarious that he's a narcoleptic. They, they slam on it all the time. Like, sorry, narcoleptics. Okay, so here's where I have to choose which way I'm going to go. Um, Ryota actually mentions that he's entering the three-legged race, so we're going to do that. So this is new dialogue for me, but I don't even feel like voicing... I mean, how do... Yeah, again, I am an actual human being, right? That's who I play in this game. I'm a, I'm a normal-sized human girl. 
and Ryota is Pigeon, which I don't know how that works. One thing that is kind of unclear to me is the size class of these pigeons. Like, yes, we're in this building, right? But like, are the pigeons just sitting on the desk? Or are we in their giant? Or like, I, I just don't know. Like, like this podium here, does the, the bird teacher stand on the podium? Or is the bird teacher like five foot eight and stands behind the podium like a human being? Burger. See, like I love that. Um, yeah, my I didn't like grind mass, so my schoolwork is gonna be great, which you need if you want to impress Nanaki, which we did. Um, so today six twenty two. I think he's in the cafeteria fighting with Oksan. I believe that's the correct path here. Cool, this is not what like, they really go ham on this like Oksan pudding thing. You know, like look at Ryota's dialogue here. Like, I know, you said, so come on, let's eat outside. We can't horse around in here. You know, like you can just tell that he's He's, like, not a very aggro dude here. Cut it out, Oaksan. Cool, release me at once. My rage voltage is rising. Like, he's got some good dialogue. Like, so they, they definitely go nuts on the pudding thing. So clearly we need to help Ryota out here, right? There's no doubt. My hunter gather blood boils. I do like that line. That beast queen shows her true colors. Pull out, pull out. Yeah, the fact that I physically seem to be able to defeat him without any trouble is also interesting because there's a couple times where you have to get into in the way of a fight and you break it up really easy. So it, uh, that leads me to believe I'm huge. But um, I mean, I was murdered. I was murdered, in fact, and my head was in a jar. So how big am I? You know, like, like I said, all I have is questions without answers on this thing. Um, again, I don't, I don't super think it matters what I pick here. Let's pick Jim Glass again for the heck of it. Oh, okay, Ryota's here. Good. He can't do a chin up. So this is Tanabata, and who shows up on the street is kind of the people you're doing well with. So, boom, we're doing well with Ryota. He's here. And then I can pick a wish here. Um, I'm going to conquer the world by force, because I never do it. So, let's go. And then, I think... I think the only time you ever want to accept this walk home is to actually chase the teacher. So I'm going to say no thanks. Because that's creepy. I also mentioned Key Mania 2DX, which isn't a real game, but I, I would be down to play it. They should add it as a mini game. Uh, we'll go to music class this time. Get our rank up. Again, I these stats only seem to matter like in some hidden system by which birds select mates that we're just not privy to. Oh, okay, so here's like a private scene. I've never gotten this with him before. Okay, so yeah, he has like a habitual stomach issue. Um, so he heads to the infirmary.
Okay, so I guess we're gonna go yell at this doctor. Let's go. Because I already know Iwamine is not a good guy. So, um, barging in at the door and shouting for the doctors, hardly accepted practice. Shall I prepare a sedative for you? See, like, that's, that's the creep vibe that this bird gives me deep down inside. Ryota, oh, Mr. Kawara, you left some time ago. Wouldn't it have been worse to do nothing to him? Doing things to people is my job, after all. I'm afraid I can't respond to complaints with no evidence. I examined his condition and provided him with the appropriate medicine. Beyond that, it's all down to how quickly his body recovers. You can't possibly be holding a responsible for his unhealthy nature, can you? Please, do send in a complaint after you find evidence, of course. Like, just completely shut down. I wouldn't doubt that Iwamine is responsible for something, uh, but I feel like if he was... <laughs> See, like, this is the only reason I put on my name as a birder, because that brings a smile to my face every time. Just this, uh, this Kazuaki pigeon here with birder. He always, he always does this. Sorry, Nanaki. I'm not. Sorry, not sorry. I'm literally too cool for school. Okay, so I think this is where we teach him to clean the floor. Um, we can. We have a chance to stand up to him here, which we do because, yeah, you know, we're proud, strong women, right? Alright, so yeah, this is, this is, I think, where they show, like, the, yeah, they show this destroyed landscape, and then, like, it's just glossed over, and there's no explanation. So I'm hoping I can find out what is going on here. So this is a very long section. We're introduced to Sukeban-style girl, um, uh, Azami. Azami rides a motor scooter, like, um, she's based off the same archetype the girl from FLCL is, if you've ever seen that. She's, you know, kind of a wild one. So, this is a big decision tree where you can get a job or not. Um, and I did this once before, and then I started focusing on the teachers, so I started skipping work because the teachers obviously aren't going to be involved at work. So, um, this is like the very proper gentle bird, you know, who runs the cafe, uh, Kenzaburo, the owner of Torimi Cafe. And I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. Like, that's what I kind of imagined, you know. I shall be relying on you for the summer then, Miss Cousin. Like that very proper, prim sort of guy. Um, I don't think he's an actual romantic interest. I don't believe there's any way to wind up um, at Kenzaburo or Ishihara uh, side. Which, by the way, it's quite a name. Kenzaburo. So he explains the cafe and whatnot. And I think you actually get a a chance here yeah okay so this is what i remember um ryota also applies for the job and this is a like deal break or not he also wants the job and you can either get out of his way or not last time i really wanted to be here so i basically told him to piss off because i didn't care but now i gotta give the job to ryota right that's i mean if i'm gonna pursue him this is gonna be the only way in So I guess we're probably going to lose access to anything that involves the store, like Azami, and um, there's, a, there's another couple birds there. 
so now we gotta invite someone. We're gonna invite Ryota, obviously. Use your hunter-gatherer instincts, Kaze. Let's go find something to eat. I'll pay. Yakitori is pretty awesome. If you haven't had it, it's um, just skewers of meat in Japan. It's got kind of a glaze on. It's kind of like their, their version of barbecue. It's pretty, pretty good stuff. Yakitori, though, is uh, a staple snack when you're on the streets. Especially when you go though to like a festival. So this is some weird dialogue about oversleeping or whatever. The the crux here is that you get a chance to either um, continue to build a relationship with Anaki, continue to build a relationship with Library Guy, or just go home. Uh, since we aren't pursuing those two, I'm going home. Okay, so nine one. This is just where Sakia pretends to not know what fun is. We're in the second term now. Um, you find an ID in the corridor. If you're in good with you, Amina, you can give it to him. Um, it turns out it's someone he killed. Because he, like, legit is a murderer. Like, he's a murderer person. He is a murderer. I actually had to look up what, uh, what Hichiriki is. The Hichiriki, I'm pretty sure it's just a Japanese recorder, like the, like, simple woodwind recorder. Time to go and be in idleness and debauchery. I wonder what debauchery I get up to when I live in a cave literally by myself. So, of course, I want to take this walk home offer with him. See, most of the choices really are, like, pretty straightforward. Like, talk to him when you get a chance, give him your job, go on a walk with him, like... So if birds see other birds, do they see them as the same size as them? Like, do they mean, like, we saw, like, a leather, like, giant bird walking around? Or are they saying that they saw, like, an actual small animal bird which was different from them being a giant intelligent bird? Um... Yeah, because, see, we can carry these birds. But if you think about it, even if a bird was 5'9", I think they would be really light compared to us. Right? Because they're built for flight. And I, they don't mention the birds flying at all, which would make me wonder if they've like gotten so big that they have lost the ability to fly like other large birds i feel like this guy's pretty racist and sensitive against uh primate descended people like ourselves so the school festival is a check-in um yeah <laughs> he's in a maid outfit Love it. I love it. Um, wowie wow. <sighs> okay. That's just, yeah, that's a visual, man. That's a serious visual. Serious visual. <sighs> okay, so with Ryota, it looks like we're actually gonna stay here and work, maybe? Um, because usually this is your check-in. If you don't have enough points with someone, like, you can't, um, you can't meet up with them here at Festival Day. So we've got enough points with Ryota that we got this scene. So we stay as maids the whole time. So if you're friends with Ryota, you don't explore. Uh, Iwamine, you find shoving people's bodies into an incinerator. Uh, it's actually Yuya. So at this point, on the Iwamine path, Yuya is already dead. This is also confusing, because see, if you look here, like, this, those are the same buildings that we saw blown up on our jog. Like, that's the same skyline, but here it's intact. He's, he's like, out on the streets in this. It 
it's a transvestite cafe. So, um, it's, this doesn't quite have the political payload, um, that it would adhere in the United States. Um, in Japan, there's like a very long history of cross-dressing and mama sons and bars and things like that. They don't, there's, it's not tied up in identity like it is for the United States. So this scene might seem a little insensitive now by the modern American aesthetic, but it, I don't think it's intended to be. Um, so yeah, we'll ask for him. Cooling, oh my, my word. He is on that grind though. He's got two jobs plus school. He's doing two cafes. So I assume this is going to be sad stuff about his mom, because I had heard that he's always taking care of his mom. Okay, so she's deteriorating. Like, this game is so silly, but then, like, it actually does try to pull some, like, pretty so like severe type emotional situations here, right? <laughs> Alright, so this should take us to... Oh! Meet me in the park at 7. Okay, so this is Christmas in Japan. I guess unlike the US, things are probably still open. Since the, you know, Christmas tradition in Japan is to uh, get yourself a KFC order. Okay, so the shrine scene doesn't happen like it usually does. Because usually this is, you, there's a big shrine scene you go to at New Year's. So they gloss over this semester and they jump forward to essentially the Valentine's Day. Legumen times. Basically you give beans to these birds. Um, and you just gotta pick the right the right beans towards um, like what you think their personality is. Uh, Ryota has got to be a calm corn guy. I'll be surprised if he's not. I love these are good. Boom, we did it. He's going to ask us out to Udon sometime. So I don't expect any, like, surprise ending here. Also, why do we live in a cave? Why do we get text messages? So, like, cell phone service still up? I, again, like, I just don't understand what's going on here in this world. Oh, dang, his mom's gone now. Okay, so they're, the birds don't live human-esque lifespans, even though they have, like, school and stuff. Um... What is the average life of a pigeon? 
how long does a pigeon live? Six years. Rock dove, six years. So, that gives us a, an estimate here of what he means. Like, so for him, his life is like half over, I guess, then. So his mom is only three years older than him. Perth weren't meant to come this far. Wow. This kind of feels like an allegory for pet ownership. You know, because anyone that owns a pet knows, like, they're a part of the family, you care about them, you like them, but, like, they're living on borrowed time against your clock, typically. Um, you know, and it's sad, but you have to appreciate what you got out of the relationship, right? Like, that's, that's the whole point, is that having that, that pet in your home, um... And whatnot man it's next to a tombstone that's dark um you know it's like you get what you can out of it right um try to give your dog or a cat or whatever the happiest life you can while it's there with you and um when it's gone you you know try to celebrate what you guys had together like um i feel like he's sort of an allegory for that so we have successfully uh, dated Ryota. Um, I think now it's time to chase the Librarian uh, Geki. So let's do a new game. And this time I need to remember to save before we pick a, um, a, a club to join here at uh, St. Pigeonations. So again, I am Miss Kaze. Okay. It's better than okay. And no humans ever. I am not about that life. Pro bird. Like, what's the point of this game if you have human portraits, right? Like, the whole reason we sign up here is to be, like, part of the madness. intro sequences, the introductions. So that's who we're going to chase this time. Uh, Nageki. So Nageki's got I'm assuming kind of a high-pitched Shire voice. We'll save after the end of 4-8 here. Because 4-8 is a long sequence where you meet all these crazy birds. Okay. So, this is our chance to save before we pick a club. So I'm just going to put it in slot numero uno, okay? Let's all remember that together. Page one, slot one. Let's see that again. Save. Page one, slot one. Great. Okay, that's the one we want. All right, so let's join a club. So this is where the people kind of identify what they're going to do. Um, so we're going to go be library staff because we're chasing the Geki. So now we're on a path I've never been on before because I'm sort of anti, um, anti Nageki. I assume he's attracted to intelligence, so we'll be a smart girl once again. The smartest of girls.
Okay, so it's pretty, pretty boring. Alright, so here's Nageku who says weird things like... He's always, like, apparently easy to not notice. They mention that several times, that it's like you can look right past him. I assume his voice is, like, really shy, like, I've been here all along. You know, something like that, right? You're thinking, I have no presence, right? I think it's okay. I, ar I already know that. Yes, um, it's, is that a problem? See, like, he's also got kind of, like, weird interpersonal skills. Um, so we should reinforce his book behavior. Yeah, you, like, you try to encroach him to help you out, he's just to me like, I already read whatever I want. Like, he's clueless. Um, and you shouldn't slack off, Miss Receptionist. See, like, what an oddball cat. Uh, you throw, like, the interest at him, and it just, it doesn't land. All right. So this is us eating udon in our cave. This is the hike. All right. Um, so because we can't pick him, these three are romantic competitors. So we're gonna talk to the teacher. Seems like the safe bet to go. You just wind up having like a really strange, awkward conversation with him while he has more narcolepsy. All right, so we're just gonna continue attending math. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, 516. Ah yeah, sports festival, okay. So sports festival, I'm pretty sure one of the choices is just to leave the sports festival and go to the library. I think I did this once already in one of the previous runs when I wasn't sure what to do. We're going to chase the library. It's not on. It's you, Miss Birder. They don't turn the air conditioning on till June. It just feels cold compared to the outside. So see, like, everything about it's very short. Like, I don't like it outside. There's, you know, not a lot of explanation. Real short five-word sentences. So yeah, basically you can kind of unload stuff, and he just is quiet and listens. He's a listener, and that's what we like. Okay. What up, Villeville? This is the first Tuesday I have ever streamed. You know, I think we are. Um, I've been kind of flying through these now. Um, now that I, I think I understand most of the layout and like where the decision tree points are. Um, so we're going to go get kicked out of the infirmary. Instead of trying to win Shu over, we're just going to be a bad student. Uh, well, trying to. There we go. Get out. <laughs> so, yeah. That's like a, a nothing happening day right there. Uh, so we just got Ryota's ending. It was kind of predictably uh, sad and benign. Um... He basically has an ailing mother, and you kind of help him through his ailing mother uh, troubles. Um, and it, like I thought, the whole thing was an, an allegory for the sadness of pet ownership. How um, you know you own a pet, you know it's going to go before you, but like you still appreciate the time that you have. It is revealed in his ending that the birds have normal bird lifetimes, so these birds are like six to eight years or whatever. Like that's that's what they're going to get. They're not going to live, you know, 40, 50, 60 years. Um, so I think for the library kid, um, he's a he's got to be a From the Shadows guy. Uh, 
Although I saw a choice on there about angels that wasn't on there previously. I might have unlocked something. Uh, so this is where Nanaki offers his incredibly creepy walk home. And unless you're a teacher fucker, you gotta go like, nah. No means no, Nanaki. Um, we're continuing to grind math. Because we want to impress uh, Nageki, our library lust, to or after the guy that doesn't say more than five words at a time to us. Okay. Please be quiet in the library. You're rather noisy today. Did you want something? Of course, I am always here. Not really. I am almost done with it. It forces its safe, ethical viewpoint on the reader, like all assigned reading. The whole concept is an aim. Why force everyone to read the same books? What do you like to read? You volunteered to work here, so you must like books. I was wondering what to read next. See, like, that's how I'm imagining the interactions with him go. So, Night on the Galactic Railroad or Ore Hato. I mean, the railroad one seems like the plant. Like, too stereotypical. Yes, though, I liked it too. There we go. Positive. All right. They had the fake out there with a negative reaction. So, that's like the biggest conversation we've had with him to date. Um, this is where we do the run. We see the destroyed scene. This is where we have the really long talk with Azami. We definitely got to go for Azami at some point. Um, just because I really want to carve it into your soul. Like, that's such a great line. Um... So, since he's in the library, there's no way he's going to be in the job path. I think we're going to have to skip that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's normal if you ignore the fact that, like, this is supposed to be a romantic pursuit and he's just completely not picking up what's being laid down. It's kind of like two strangers. I only know him as the depressed freshman who's always in the library. That probably describes a fair amount of the people that bought this game. This is like the self-insert character. We eat a lot of udon before bed in our cave. I still don't know why we live in a cave. See, again, like, here's a chance for him to do something and just immediately... Can't you write one yourself? Perhaps it would be better to remove the section from the paper. So again, we're trying to get something out of him. And he finally acquiesces. But everything with him is like just crowbar prying. Like He is really not into us. Okay, so this is the, like, mistaken, oh, I came to school a day early, I can't believe it. The really important part here is that this is a chance to either go to the library or hang out with Anaki or go home, um, which is nobody. And since we are pursuing a library guy, we can finally use this option. Okay, so we're going to get another conversation here. Miss Birder. See, he doesn't even use our first name. They'll just ignore me anyway, whether or not I go near. So, when I was trying to shake him, because he was chasing me a little bit, kind of, I thought, so I, I did the bullet, I did the paranoid thing once to just, like, strongly send him a message that I wasn't interested um, I'm not sure who would bully him at the school, like, Sakuya and Yuya seem maybe a tad bullyish. 
Oksan just gets into a lot of fights, but usually they involve pudding. Again, Sakia pretends not to know what fun is. Like, oh my god. Alright, so now we're gonna head to the second turn. We find an ID on the floor. We give it to Kazuaki because we're not good with Iwamine. We now know that's someone that Iwamine murdered. <laughs> um, we're continuing to stay smart. Uh, to chase our smart boy. I mean, I assume he's smart if he reads that much. This is the molting season day. Not a lot happening here. If you're in good with either Sakuya or Ku, I think you have to pick someone in a fight that happens there. Okay, so... Alright, so we're actually leaving the event entirely to go to Nageki. Um, I did get murdered for sure. I got murdered by Iwamine. Hard. Cut my head right off and put it in a jar um so yeah i have been <laughs> murdered <laughs> uh i myself haven't done much murdering i haven't found a way to really kill anybody yet all right let's see if things escalate here with negeki you're staying in here even today it's almost like this is where you live oh that's me talking oh well, is there something wrong with that Oh, cookies. So, man, if you follow Japan at all, you know that cookies from a girl is, like, absolutely a direct I like you vector. Like, there's no, there's absolutely no mistaking it. So... He refuses to leave here, and we've never seen him outside of the library. What if it turns out he's a ghost? Like a dead ghost. So this is a new scene. We haven't seen this yet. The Congress dances but does not progress. Okay, we can go home with Nageki. Here we go. Dang! Shut down! What's it take to get in them bird draws? What do we gotta do to get in them bird pants? Come on, man. By the way, don't clip that out of context. <laughs> oh, man. Cancelled by birds. On Twitter. <laughs> Man, we're just getting shut down hard, right and left. Oh, wow, he wants to talk to us. Okay. I was shocked when you first came and talked to me, Miss Birder. You're the only one who didn't ignore me. No one but you has ever talked to me. That's why this is the only place for me. I am not done talking yet. You think I'm being bullied, right? I thought that too. I don't think so, no. Being bullied might be better than this. I'm not sure yet though. When you talk to me, I remember things sometimes, but it's still not enough. Miss Birder, I think I'm... The school's already starting to close for the night. It's good to study, but working too hard on your own for too long can backfire on you. Lock the door and head home soon, okay? And again, see, Nageki vanishes. Yeah, I'm starting to believe Nageki is not real. I mean, I don't know if any of this is real. Brrr. Of the class dunking on Saki. What up, Shirogane? Mm -hmm. That's how we do. 
All right. You're still here. Okay, so he's reading Christmas Carol. Oh, yeah, it's Christmas Eve. Please keep quiet in the library. So again, shut down. Oh, wow, we're a Buddhist. Okay, good to know. He tries to save Tiny Tim from dying? I've only ever seen, like, the movie and the play, and I don't even remember that. I've never read the OG book, but apparently it's darker than I thought. future is what it is. It is what it is, and that's all there is to it. Deep thoughts. So this is the least romantic conversations in the entire game. Okay, so at the shrine, um, we gotta pick an amulet. Ryota again. Looking just stunning. Let's take a uh, fulfillment in school. All right, let's see what fortune we get. He's always here if you aren't with like someone else specifically. Bork's blessing. I've never gotten this before, so. But yeah, you can get Iwamine to show up at this part if you're in deep with Iwamine. Alright. So, I don't think there's anything interesting that happens until... Yep, Legumentine, so it's time for us to pick the beans! Um, and I know that Nageki is a country melee kind of guy. Alright, off we go. So now we go to the library. There he is. Just David is reading with a party of one. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> it's time for more bird dating. The deepest, the deepest steps in the bird dating. Um, we are just about in the final steps of seducing this library bird. Uh, he basically shut us down on every single time we've tried to hit on him. Uh, it hasn't gotten us anywhere the entire game. So it is essentially Valentine's. We've hooked him up with the beans that we're essentially supposed to, you know, impress him with. Um... See, like, his dialogue's like, I often ate these when I was younger. This brings back memories. Thank you, Miss Birderer. That's right, I named myself Birderer. <laughs> um, I was hoping, you know, for, for hilarity, and at least it makes me laugh, and that's all I really needed here. So I don't read my, di my character's, like, thoughts out loud, because usually they're pretty badly written. Miss Birder, be here after all your students have left. Fujishiro Nageki. I, I am not surprised to discover that I'm the only person playing this game. Wait, why, while we have people looking, I gotta show you. I actually have special jewelry for the occasion. That's right. I got my very own wing bling. What? Boom, 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 boom. I'm so glad someone was around to see Wing Bling go on. This is so 2021 right now, man. Imagine how you're going to feel in the club with me and my set all winged out. Like, you might as well leave the VIP section because you know you're done. You know you're done when you see the wing come through. <laughs> yeah, I got this and then, like, how to hold boyfriend seemed like a, 
Boom. Um, a match made in heaven. I don't know why I'm playing this, to be perfectly honest. I think it was in my backlog for years, and I just figured, why not? Fried chicken is the way to go, for sure. But if you're going to get wings, I'm more of a Buffalo Wild Wing kind of guy, myself. Although they do now have their own gaming console. So maybe, hey, KFC, give me that sponsorship. I'll talk all about the KFC console. Send me one, guys. Send me one. I'm in for it. Hello, Miss Birder. Like, see? I love it every time. From the very beginning. So he's going to talk to us. And I'm starting to believe that, like, he's not real or something. Or he's a ghost. I, Because, you know, I don't play anything past the game. I have actually been murdered by these birds. So what I'm not positive of, I assume that these birds are 5 foot 8 inches tall or bigger. Um, because, like, they inhabit a library, they carry books, uh, I got my throat slashed and my head cut off by a bird. So I think they're full-size birds, but every time there's a confrontation between me and birds, like to break up a fight, the other birds come and get me because I'm so much bigger and stronger and able to, like, break up fights. So I don't understand the size classes involved here. Like, the lore of Hotful Boyfriend is, like, mad deep, and I don't get it. And I'm here for answers. I'm here, like, you know, to peel back the eyes, right? The deep state conspiracy. Okay, so he's going to take us outside for the first time again. Because there's no other time to talk to this guy in the whole game. Um, except for in the library. So this is this is the first time. What's wrong? You said you wanted to come out here. Like, it crashes into the air? As I thought, I can't leave. I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library, and after a while, I lose consciousness and wake up here again. And so, it repeats. <laughs> um, okay. So... No one else can see him. That seems really obvious. I forgot why I was here and how I came to be stuck in this place. I've been here alone for years with no one to talk to. So wait, he's not even a high school student? Or he loops and is a high school student, like, perpetually young? As I talk to you, I finally remember why I can't leave. I killed myself in this room. Wow. Okay. Uh, Hotful boyfriend. Another dark turn. No one is bullying me or ignoring me because I'm not here to begin with. I wonder if Birder is open on Twitch. I should grab that ID. That's my new IP. I have no regrets. It was my choice to end my life here after all. But... I think I will miss you, Birder. This is a crazy ending. So, not only does this place have giant birds and, and stuff, but also it has ghost birds. Like, no matter how um, underground fanfic your fetish might be, Hotful Boyfriend's got you covered. Like, they're they're playing the full, th like, 40 chess on you here. And now he's fading? Why? What did we do to cause this to happen? Whoa, all right, are we gonna get insight? You're the one who made me disappear, but I can't stop it now. The secret. No. Yeah, I thought you were going to give me some insight into the world. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. My hotful boyfriend. Ah. Oh. Well, so that's another ending in the bag. 
Dang, son. Who knew this was gonna happen? I loved Doki Doki Literature Club. We're not done yet. So the way these games usually work is that you need to like collect them all. You need to get the endings to like unlock things, right? So, um, let's see. Let's, let's try, I actually had to look this up. There's a, there's a character to grab. We, we skipped through all, like, most of the dialogue here. Um, uh-oh, did the load fail? Uh-oh, uh-oh, guys. Okay, time to restart the game. Maybe you can't, like, beat it and then immediately load without a glitch. Hang on. I'm bringing the birds back. Don't worry. Okay. Not a full cyberpunk? <laughs> Pidgeot Nation is actually the first name of uh, CD Projekt Red. A lot of people don't know that. All right. Oh, is this a broken save? Really? Yep, it is. Okay, all right. Well, it, this was only to save us from doing the intro. So it's not a huge loss, but um, that's fine. This intro has an auto skip. It just means blazing past all of it again. Okay. I've never had like save load problems on here. Hotful cyberpunk. I mean, the textures in this game at least pop in correctly most of the time. Got that going for it. But yeah, right now when there's like 700,000 people streaming cyberpunk. Uh, what do I bring to the table? Uh, I bring you birds to date. Because not everybody is willing to do that. I'm here for you. Wing bling and bird dating. Bird or er. Anyone can get birded. Yes, it's, it's better than okay. Um, and I will never turn on the human portraits. I refuse. I'm here for birds. I didn't. I didn't buy a a boyfriend because I wanted to date a man. Okay, they make an app for that. I was looking for an app that covers a different use case entirely. That's why I have Hotful boyfriends. Why do I want human males up in here? They're probably just bad on me. Let's be real. I don't think they're going to be, like, photorealistic pictures of people. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to um, pursue Angel is going to be join the infirmary staff. You see, this guy understands me. Sin... Is it Sin? What is it? S-I-I-N. It's Sins. Among his sins is... Uh, cloaca based interests um, and he's here for it you know there's no reason to sleep when there's all these tasty birds out here Oxon is the insane bird you know what maybe let's let's do an Oxon run I never did get his let's, let's go get Oxon um, I'm gonna need to check is which Okay, so I'm gonna try and save this again. It glitched out last time. I'm gonna overwrite this. Okay. So, Oaksan tells us very clearly which club, right? <laughs> cool, Oaksan only has time for track team. Like, thank you for letting us know. All right, so we're going after Oaksan, which means let's get physical. Um, okay.
so we're definitely going to be grinding physical fitness now in every elective because Oaksan only respect, like, respects people who are athletic and fast. Okay, we, it's weird you start with 800 vitality and signing up for track gets you five points. Like that's it, you go to 805, uh, which doesn't make any sense. Cool, Akaze appears. This is a challenge then. Choose your weapon, ma'am, and draw. Like, he's, they got this gag with him in pudding and everything with him involves pudding. Cool, he stands before you. Oksan is the captain and a faster bird the world has never known. Cool, a dove never refuses a challenge. Like, so, you know, this is, this is the voice I hear in my head when looking at his dialogue. Oksan will be your opponent in normal combat. Sprint our long distance. Um, all right, let's take him in long distance because it's one thing I know about humans. It's that we are the best at long distance out of the animal kingdom. There's a lot of things that crush us at the short, the short distance. How do we do? Oh, okay. So we lost. Um. We even lost a distance run. I knew it. I knew a sprint. We would just get toasted. Um. So yeah, we're a weirdo that uh, that lives in a cave and eats udon every night. Uh, do we have a choice of Oksan here? We do. Again, he's talking about pudding. Um, and then he just leaves to go look for pudding. Like there are many times where he talks about pudding and it's unclear that he even knows what pudding is. All right, another gym class in the bag. Great, five more vitality of our 800. All right, then we're gonna skip forward. So there's a sports festival. Um, dude, if you haven't had a pudding after, after coitus, I would recommend. Get like one of those little cup points and just boom. Fantastic. You can impress mates by eating it without the spoon would be my recommendation. Just really get in there. Um, so, uh, Oksan, uh, thank you for the pudding talk. Uh, you know, I appreciate you showing up to watch this madness unfold. Thank you, man. Uh, you know, if you want to follow, I wouldn't mind to follow. I like follows. Uh, I'm trying to get Twitch to unlock the tool set. It's on you, though. Uh, thanks for dropping in. And, you know, wingling. Get it before it's too late. You don't want the world to reopen and you to be in the, in the VIP section and you not to have wingling, right? That would be horrible. That's a bad outcome for you. Okay, so... Uh, Oksan, I'm almost positive, runs the marathon, being the runner. And again, thanks, yeah, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out. Making my Tuesday uh, just a little less COVID feeling um, as we close in on the, the holiday for a lot of people. Cool, you're running the marathon too, Kaze. I don't even know if there are females in this school because I've never encountered one. Which is another thing that makes me wonder if this is even a real school or if I'm insane or what's going on here. All right, so Oksan crushes it yet again. All right, let's see here. Um, ba -ba -ba. So your grades don't really matter. They're just a reflection of how much time uh, you've spent in math class and whether or not you want to impress Nanaki. That's really all it is. Uh, da, 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 uh. Oh, so this is the fight. Okay. Oksan and Sakuya are at each other's throats. So Sakuya is like a stuck up, um, weirdly French and Japanese guy. Uh, he's very erudite, fantail, um, and now he's throwing it down with our boy, Oksan, right? Um, 
Oksan is not having it. You tell me to take back my word? I shall not. See, he's French, right? A Mongol like you hasn't even the right to speak to me. Cool, Oksan is not a mongrel. Okay, so we're definitely gonna stand by our man. Got it. Giga Drill Peak! Saki is dead. Awesome. Actually, I'm, I'm liking Oksan more now. Oksan is a match for any aristocrat! <laughs> Oksan is a match for the mighty giants themselves! Now I wonder if there are actual giants. Okay, where are we going to? Um, Oksan is in the cafeteria. Uh, we've already seen this before. Oh, look at that sick band reference. Particle Man for real. Alright, so this is Oksan. Again, Pudding is his raison d'etre. Um, release me at once. My rage voltage is rising. God, that's, that's a hot line. Uh, so, of course, this time we gotta let him go. Last time, we, we beat up folks on ourselves. Because, again, I don't super understand the difference between the human strength and the bird strength. Like, when the bird scaled up, did they stay kind of weak, though? Silence, wolf boy! Cool! Oksan loves you, gentle maiden, but fake pudding cannot be forgiven. <laughs> I don't, man, I don't, I'm not even sure what was going on there. I feel like that's a reference to something that just whiffed me entirely. Um, all right, continuing to be hella swole to, yeah, see, Ryota's like our, like, super punk friend. Um, can't do chin-ups, never gets anything going, sickly. Uh, I mean, his storyline is pretty much just, like, sadness. Um, so here's Tanabata, where we can read different people's, like, um, things that they wish for. Oksan's is just him stomping messy footprints, but look how small these footprints are. So that raises the question, are the birds tiny, then? This is the first evidence of tiny birding that I've seen in a while. Hmm. Um, Oksan is definitely a conquer the world by force type guy. So this is our wish. Uh, so uh, Kazuaki always asks you for if you want to go home, get a walk home. You always say no unless you plan on dating the teacher. That takes us to the next elective day where we're going to once again go to gym class and get ripped up. Ryota can't swim either. God, they just give this guy nothing. The only kind of girl that would ever be attracted to Ryota is a girl that, like, doesn't want a partner. <laughs> like, she wants someone she's completely superior to in every way. Damp, tight, clinging feathers are making my heart race. Kaze, as a human, can you still swim? Like... Oksan challenges you a race in. Oksan has never swum against a hominid. Cool, cool. Naturally, Oksan is the fastest in all things. Well, hopefully not all things. And Oksan can run across the top of the water. <laughs> you must redefine the concept of swimming to take on this delicious bird man. Okay, so I think we just skipped all this stuff here. 720. Okay, so let's go to the track club room. This is new dialogue. So he's eating beans now? Um, I don't know. I, 
guess. <laughs> Come at me? Like, what? I don't know what's going on here. Do we beat him? Because we usually beat blood? We drew blood? I got rival zoned. Again, like, am I fighting a, a whole sized bird or not? Okay, so this run here again. I'm gonna get that weird background. Yep, destroyed landscape. Okay. All right, here's a long dialogue where they introduce uh, Asami. We definitely gotta do, if there's a way to get Asami and like do a lesbian adventure, we got to. Uh, 724 is where we pick a job, which we are not going to, so we're gonna continue pursuing Oksan. And the job route really takes you away from the school. Um, all right, is where we invite someone to the festival. Cool. We invite Oaks on. Cool. Is it true that you will take Oaks on to a wonderful place? What is he going to do here? Okay, so we watch fireworks with Oaks on. It's super, super great. -o. He disappears? So he just goes completely feral at the uh, at the fireworks display. <laughs> I wish that were me. Do you wish that you were dating a bird, or do you wish you were at the fireworks display? Um, so this is uh, part of the game. I don't think there's anything for us to do here, because the first two options are for dating two specific birds, which we are not. So let's go back to our cave, which just ends the day automatically. I mean, Oksan's got quite a profile. Look at that eye. You know, that sees more than just the surface of things. And Oksan's always having fun. So what's not like, you know, what would you not like there? So we go into turn two. We give something to Kazuaki. It's not relevant to most people's stories. Um, selective. There's no doubt that we continue to get Max Swole. Hmm sun's out. Oh, volleyball day. As a volleyball player myself, this is super exciting. I'm very happy to know that there is a special Oaksan Smash that's on display. Alright, let's see. Oaksan was granted a vision in his dreams. A vision from Lord Pudi? Clad in the feathers of Pierce White, his golden pudding steed shining. Um, okay. I guess the pudding is invincible. Uh, instructable pudding heals any industry. Incorrect nonsense. Oh, someone's still. Oh, so we, we did something wrong there. Hmm. We didn't have a choice, though, to pick anything else. Like, we didn't have a third option. No one... I don't know. Alright. So there's another fight with Oaksan. <laughs> oh my god. Made Oaksan is in here. Again, um, real men fight in the nude, so, ah, oh, man, what was, there's a movie with a, a nude fight, what is it, like, uh, uh, Eastern Promises? Folks, I refuses these constricting garments.
he's trying to court his own mated reflection. Damn. Borat also had a nude fight. That's a good call. Orange YouTube. <laughs> what is Orange YouTube? I feel like you're referencing something I should know and I don't. Oh, got it. <laughs> All right, that makes more sense. So this is the, the serial killer doctor. You didn't know I'm in charge of nutrition for all the athletic clubs. Your advisor asked me to bring steroids today, but... <laughs> the advisor asked him to bring steroids. Like, bird racing is such serious business that cheating at it is a necessary thing that this school needs to do. As you can see, your captain doesn't want them. I prepared this just for him, and I'd really like to see how his body would react to it. Oksan said he doesn't want it. It smells weird. Grr. Have cause a drink instead. Oh, we're drinking it. Let's go. What's it do? <laughs> no. What are you doing? That is not for humans. Oksan knew he could trust you, Kaze. You are his greatest ally. <laughs> Wisdom increased by 10? Hmm, an interesting reaction. Thank you. This has been most informative. What a weird experience this has been. Oksan proposed love to, you, to me earlier than I think any bird in the game does. Um... So now I think we just figure out where to go after school. Oh, no. Ah, I skipped important Oksan dialogue. Sweet store. Here we go. Kaze is a liar and a traitor to the cause. There was no pudding. None at all. Not a trace. Oksan hates you, Kaze. Whoops. Well... Uh, hope that wasn't a problem. Oh, so the shrine got canceled again. So if you're with Oaksan's path, no shrine. So the only next thing to go, I think, is just all the way to Lagoon Times to get Oaksan something. Um, get him hemp. What is it? Oxon's about to escape into the great outdoors. Cool, cool. Enough flirtations. Hand over the hemp and no one gets hurt. He pecks at the seeds. Kaze is an angel of the pudding god. Come to this world to spread joy and goodwill. Cool. Oksan will remember this gift forever. All right. I guess we did good. So, wait. Do we win? Are we going to get an ending? Oksan's going on a great journey. Oksan has quit school? Whoa, you hate to see it. A quest to seek the true pudding. Pudding is the ambrosia of the gods. Miracles in jiggling corporeal form. Treasure shining with the seven colors of the rainbow. Those who partake of its wobbling flesh will never experience sadness again. I have said that to a lot of women. Oksan never goes back on his word. So I guess we, we're going with him on Pudding Quest. Let's do this. What? Fair maiden, this quest will be mortally dangerous. 
Oksan knows your ability as well, Kasa. You will not be an impediment. Also, if your stats probably aren't high enough, maybe like boots you out. Yeah, uh, I am all about, you know, the seven colors and the wobbling flesh and never knowing sadness again. Why would I pass up your pudding cult? Of course I'm in. Of course. As long as, like, the cult can also include wings. I need, you know, because I need those in my life. I need those. So, yeah, I guess we go on a pudding quest, but, you know... I know he has an alternate ending. I wonder if, uh, after you get the first one, you pick up that alt ending if it shows you anything more. Ending number six. So, we're still no closer to having, like, the answers. Um... Let's see, what could we do? Is there answers in Hobbiful Boyfriend? Um, or do we have to like beat it with everybody? If so, I think that might be, that might be too much. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out if there's like, a way to skip some of the heavy lifting because you know, I've been through this game inside now. I have dated every kind of bird, right? Like I've been I've been with big birds. I've been with the small birds. I've been with the dead birds. I've been birdered. Okay? Like me and birds, like we go. But at the same time, uh I am hoping not to have to beat this game like 20 more times. I wonder if I can get a save off the internet. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Okay, it seems like I've got it. Let's see here. Can I get this file? Alright, I'm downloading a save here. See if this is going to take us like straight to the end here. Now, I just gotta find where you put them. So where does Huddleful Boyfriend maintain its saves, I wonder. So let me go to the Steam library real quick. Steam apps, common. Huddleful Boyfriend, Huddleful Data. Manage mono plugins, resources, streaming assets. So looking at what I downloaded should have some folders that help me find it. Global flag. Pick one, save data one, save data one, flag XML. Okay. So is there okay so it's probably under the app app data we're getting we're getting real technical on this edition um 
unlock four specific endings to open up the true ending. Yeah, I'm trying to skip the a little bit because, man, running through play after play after play of this thing is it's doing something to me that um, I didn't think it would. <laughs> Let's see here. Where are the Hotaful saves on the hard drive? That's what I'm trying to find right now. Let's see here. Where does this game store its progress? Uh, app data, local low, media tonic. That's what I'm seeing here. So app data, local low. Ah, sure enough, media tonic. How a full boyfriend. Okay, so I just need to back up some files. Almost done, and we'll reboot the game here and see what happens. So let's take the game down. All right. All right, we're going to give this a try. Here we go. I think I've backed up the five files I needed to back up. And I am relaunching Hotful Boyfriend. Because I really wanted this to be the end of Hotful Boyfriend tonight. <laughs> A man can only take so much. Hmm. So loading this did something. But I don't know if this did what it was supposed to do. Let's see if anything changes. Oh, here we go. You can take this chance to fulfill a promise from long ago, or you can live a normal school life. Fulfill the promise. Okay, so is this going to be the standard dialogue now? Seems that way. Um, so, people are saying that the if you follow, like, just the, the straight-up Ryota path this time, we're going to get something different at the end. So we're going to do that now. We're just going to play, like, vanilla Ryota speedrun. Better living through technology. I can't beat Howful Boyfriend this many times. Cause there's like multiple endings for the birds that pivot on a certain specific comment or a stat being high enough or a lot of stuff. All right, let's see here. Uh, all right, I gotta check on my dog. I don't know what he's doing.
Okay, I gotta let my dog outside. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, sorry for the delay. Apologize. Hopefully not everyone jetted off. Um, okay. All right, all right, let's do this run and get that ending. Okay, so Ryota doesn't care what club I'm in and he also doesn't care what I study, which is why he's the easiest one to run for. school festival Was weird. Dang. Ah, uh, that means I gotta be careful using the skip. Now things happen. Oh man. Wonder if I can like look back at my own stream and freeze frame that to see what the heck just went by. Can you rewind live streams? You can't. Can you? Ah. Uh, dang. I really wish I knew what that stuff said. Um. Uh, okay. 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 Focusing back on on the Rio de Prize. Uh. He is in the cafeteria. Yeah, if you can clip that, that'd be the way to go. Okay, well now 
know I have to be careful about using the auto skip because it even skips the new dialogue of like the special stuff. I saw something about mom and dad, but I don't know what it was. Okay, rage voltage continues to rise. Alright. We support Ryota here. By radically fast, even by the player standards. So getting a freeze frame of it's not even easy. I had this dream a lot recently. I can see the little house on the other side of the fence. I wonder who lives there. I don't think it's anyone I know. Ryota. Rio's next to me. My parents are here too. Shoosh, this goes by fast. Getting the exact frame that this happened in is hard. Rio's next to me, my parents are here too. Mom, Dad, hey, wake up, please. So, it, something about Rio is there and your parents are not. It, it just goes by so fast, I can't quite put it together. Even, like, rapidly, like, touching the keyboard, like, because it wasn't recording enough frames per second, I don't know if there's a frame where that dialogue appears in full. Oh, does it? Oh, let me, let me try that then. See a little house, one of the lives there. Rio's next to me. It's still gone. Even as I frame advance. Mom, dad, hey, wake up, please. And then I lose it. So something about a dream sequence, we'll have to be more careful in the future. But at least the clip is gives us some insight. All right, so we're at 626 here. So now we're gonna do Tanabata. And I believe I conquered the world by force when choosing him. Yeah, that angel choice at the end there leads to that extra guy. And then I tell him, no thank you. Man, I really wish I could use the auto skip. That's a bummer that I can't because of them throwing stuff in the middle and not flagging it as a new screen. Because usually day and night are flagged as new, so even if you auto skip it, it stops. It slows back down again at night. All right, so here's where I gotta yell at the, the doctor. Giving my mouse a hella workout. Go yell at the doctor. That's a trip though if if like Ryota believes that he has like a weak constitution. And that, like, he has lifelong stomach problems and it just turns out that Iwamine is a bad person and has been drugging him the whole time. Like, 
that's some real insane mastermind level stuff. Oh, here we go. That dream again. Ryota, my parents, and me at a stranger's house. The strange bird who comes to me is a magician. He says he'll grant any wish that Ryota and I make. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day. <laughs> you know, we probably wouldn't have gotten that if you hadn't said something. <laughs> like, it exists just to, like, you know, prove you wrong. Okay, we have a long conversation with this Saki here. Make him help us clean the floor. Soon we'll get the job and then we'll hand that over to Ryota. Alright, this is the hike section. I'm hoping at the end of this there's some some answers. Okay, so this is the long dialogue that we have with the Sami. But again, I can't use auto skip on the off chance at the end of it that there's some extra dialogue. So I'll just be clicking like mad, like playing Diablo one all over again. Carve it into your soul, kid. Asami is the best. Asami is so cool. Okay, so we need to get the job and then give it to Ryota again. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so this is like the proper bird guy. Kenza Buru, I think it's like Urushima. Or no, Urushihara. Okay, so we have a long talk with him. We come back. And then we're going to give up the job to our best buddy, Ryota. Because we're just running a vanilla Ryota run to get to the end. So that's what we're supposed to do with this save file. You know, I was thinking about it, um, the suggestion to stream uh, Doki Doki would actually be difficult because there are a lot of things that happen outside of the game that you need to, like, share your desktop and stuff to really do right. Okay, so we're going to give the job to Ryota. All right, we're over halfway done. Okay, we've seen all of this dialogue before. That's why I'm not bothering to voice act it. Those of you who tune in for the voice acting, let me tell you. All right, we're gonna invite Ryota. He has a predictably lame and uninteresting time at the, at the fair, or at the the festival, rather. I really like the, the Japanese culture of little, like, micro-festivals on the street. Um, I've been to a few, and it's like... It's definitely something that helps tie a neighborhood together, I think, in a way that we don't. Um, give neighborhoods an appeal, you know? We've got some things like that, um, but there's not nearly as many of them, I think, in America. Like, we need a much bigger reason to Anyway, uh, we just gotta go back home here because we don't want to attach to the other two people. That's funny, if you do a Nageki run, you're really sitting in a library talking to yourself the whole time. Like, everyone must just think you're a complete nut job. Don't think there's anything more that happens on this day. Here we go, second turn.
Okay, so we go to the infirmary. Hurtful boyfriend. Whoa. Whoa. Good Wait. Oh, we're we're Ryota now. where we get the answers? Back when we birds were beasts and pets, a virus known as the AH5N1, obviously a play on the bird flu appeared at first, it only affected birds, when it appeared to spread to humans. This mutated strain was highly infectious, had extremely high mortality rate. It became clear that it posed a threat to the survival of the human species. So the humans engineered a powerful virus to cull birds and prevent it from becoming a pandemic. In hindsight, it seemed foolhardy and rash, but the world leaders saw no better option. Except the new virus didn't work, and infected birds didn't die. Rather, their brains grew in size and power, starting with doves. That's why doves make up the majority of professionally qualified workers today. Other birds and quills like me are still adapting to social life. Incidentally, I heard that the first puffin in history to hold a governorship was selected last month. The Prime Minister of Japan is a shoe bill. Huge impact on their predators. Since their game it failed, humans were left defenseless to H5N1, most died out. The few that are left now live peacefully with birds, though in the past there were large conflicts. Huh. Finally answers. So, then canonically, the birds can talk and are bird-sized, and I'm human for real, and I'm not insane. So we're picking up. We're bleeding. It's blood leaking through a corner of the box. So this is us getting killed by Iwamine? Iwa oh, whoa. Whoa. This got really crazy. I really should name myself Birdered, because I keep getting killed. Oh wow, so I was dismembered in boxes all over the school.
Whoa, a new bird. Ichijo Mino. A natural disaster. This is crazy. Like, I don't, I don't, you know, I should voice act this stuff. Like, gone myself, Goara, to relinquish your sanity during a state of emergency, a suicide. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. We can't just leave her like that. Can I just go back to the classroom? Well, the principal did ask us to remain here, but uh, didn't say we couldn't leave the gym now, did he? I'm coming with you. As president of the student council, I have a responsibility to get to the bottom of this. Thanks, Sakya. Do not flatter yourself. I'm not doing this for you. Burr was foolish, loud, and had no manners or sense. But she never deserved anything like this. I swear, by my blood and name is Labelle, I will find the one who did this. You shall be my assistant, Gam Kawara. Right. And so I exit the gymnasium. I want to know what happened to Kaze. Who did that to her and why? Why wouldn't the headmaster explain? All I had was questions with no answers. Oh, whoa, we're in a dome? A dome, rather. We appear to be shut in from above as well. When did they do this and how? I don't think any of us was in full command of these faculties as we came this way. We can't be certain that it wasn't already here. It does seem most likely that it was put in place while we were in the gymnasium listening to the headmaster, though. Well, he did say it was a natural disaster. Maybe it's just some sort of shield? A disaster so distractive there's nothing to be done but hide under an enormous gray blanket and wait? Well, maybe they didn't give the headmaster details to avoid causing panic. Well, if that were the case, then what would robbing us our right to know why our very lives are in danger? Is this really a shelter? Is there really a natural disaster? Either way, we don't know if there's any connection between this and what happened to Kaze. Let's go to the classroom and tell Mr. Inaki about the dome thing. Very well. Dude, oh my god, this is getting so intense. Looks like the other classes left as, as they were as well. They're at the teacher's desk. Japan is a country full of fools who have grown lazy through too much peace. I doubt anyone has dared take it upon themselves to investigate this matter. We're here. So, LaBelle, despite being f Japanese himself, seems to have a distaste for them. What is this madness? There's... There's nothing here. That can't be right. We left it right here. It's not like it got up and moved on its own. Someone came and removed it while everyone was at the gym. This is... Life. Not some third-rate mystery novel. Exactly, Sakuya. So Yuya's his older brother. Also Japanese. French. Salutations, Ryota. I see you are babysitting, Sakuya. Do not throw my name around like some cheap mongrel toy. Or er, toy mongrel. How cruel. Well, I can't blame you for being tense, given the circumstance. This is crazy that I'm doing all these French voices. I am sorry to hear about her. 
It pains me to think what happened. You would known her for a long time, right? Yeah, do you know something about this, Yuya? Well, most of the business is still a mystery to me, but uh, I can at least answer the question we face right now. The whereabouts of the corpse? Yeah, that. As you said, this isn't some third right mystery now. Corses don't disappear, and we won't be having a famous detective show up and tell who the culprit is for us. Anyway, the other infirmary assistants and I gathered up gathered her up in the chemistry lab. The chemistry lab? What for? Well, for one, we couldn't just leave her scattered throughout the school if only for the mental health of the students. And secondly, for the autopsy. As you know, we have two things going on at once here. The only human in the school was cut up and distributed to the rest of the school, and now there is some natural disaster happening. I imagine you're wondering if there isn't a connection between the two. We are, but we haven't found anything. What do you know? I told you, this is a mystery to me too. I suspect we will have an easier time investigating the murder as long as we're sealed in like this. The doctor should be proceeding with the autopsy by now. The doctor? Well, why him? You don't trust him? Uh, of course not. I don't want to think about what he might do. He might even have... Hmm, you suspect the doctor? Yeah, like, everyone knows he's insane. He probably killed her for some experiment. He's an expert in the field. Who else here could perform the autopsy? Look, I know where you are coming from, Yota. He's not exactly the most ethically minded bird around. That's why I asked Professor Nanaki to come, too. You should be there by now. If you want to go, make sure. Okay, we're gonna go later. This is a long conversation. I'm gonna start skipping through a little bit. Hopefully you guys can read fast. Man, this took a crazy turn. I'm so glad that I, uh, I jumped here. Uh-oh. This isn't, like, locked up. Oh, here we go. So now we're out for vengeance. So we know there's a wall, we're sealed in the school. Talk to One in the maintenance office? Tell him I sent you. There's an antisocial cockatiel dandy. to save just in case because there's a ton of dialogue so the brothers still don't get along even in the face of all this insanity you think they would like finally bond together it's gonna be a decision no all right we're gonna go meet i'm assuming it's one we'll see what kind of name he has So we're headed to the maintenance office, which is apparently a residence. A dove and one more. see here I thought they were gonna give us like an intro splash panel for this guy but they're not a 
getting new music tracks for the first time, too. Communication's been cut off since this morning. That sounds like even before anyone knew anything. A bright and massive piece of advice for you. If you get stuck, try the headmaster's office. changing the nature of the way the game works? Let's save again. Okay, so we can go to the lab or the wall. Uh, one is going to be to chase the murder. The other is going to be to chase the like natural disaster basically um i think i want to know more about what killed me <laughs> just because like i have some attachment to you know birder um at this point Okay, so the doctor's basically shooing us out. Shooing? Get it? Well, that was a weird piece of dialogue. So, does Shu have like meta game knowledge? What were you talking with Quora about, Doctor? Hmm, nothing important. I was just giving him a little emotional support and encouragement. Well, I guess that's good. I'm sure you'll remember not causing more trouble for my students, Doctor. Okay, so that's just, I think, to show us that, like, Nanaki is not in on this. Alright, so we're going to roll up on the Grey Dome. So, it seems like we're in a Faraday cage. So we're going to walk the perimeter looking for a way out. <laughs> Thank you for enjoying the cloaca. I did not expect the dark turn that we have taken here. Um, I knew something messed up was going on, but I didn't realize I would actually get birdered, like permanently birdered. I'm hoping we get answers. But yeah, thank you so much for dropping in. This stopped being funny and started being real, real weird but now i have to know i have to know cloaca life <laughs> 20 meters up there's a joint or something of a different color and it looks like it's got a little picture of a bird above it Let's 
let's see if we haven't made any well we did make a decision um So that was at 20, this is at 31. Let's put this one in the middle, 35. All right, so now we're gonna go check out the headmaster's office, see if there's an answer there. Doors locked predictably. that sound what what the hell oh my god is this a robot that appears to be like constructed out of like a lawnmower dead? Did it kill them? No. Where is Oksan when you need him? So that looks like something that would have been built by a One, if I had to guess. Cause of death was asphyxiation. Poisoned or sick? Then dismembered after death. I suppose I should tell you the estimated time of death. Obviously. I cannot be completely certain, but I believe Miss Burr died yesterday, after school. Precisely, she was found this morning. In other words, I must you were seen yesterday afternoon. She may have been here all along. Gowara, her house was near yours, was it not? Did you see her yesterday? After school, I... Uh, no, I didn't. My mother asked me to run some errands. I went straight home yesterday. I see. Perhaps we should ask any other students with whom she was close. Man, my voice. Uh, getting tired. Here we go. Hmm, going out again? Be careful. It sounds like wandering around the school could be dangerous. Now, a real teacher would like you know, want to uh, kind of help protect us or something. Oh, 
wonder why he lied about going straight home. So he didn't go home? Wait, are we the killer? Like we as in we're Ryota and Ryota's the killer? Yeah, I know Iwamine, like, canonically is some sort of, like, world-level genius. You have become biased by the foolish rumors of the peasantry. Reconsider yourself. Like, man, Saki has got some pretty cool lines every now and then, you know? There's, a, there's another time where he's just like, uh, exercise. Exercise these four peasants. <laughs> and I was like, exercise is for peasants. Ah, oh, dang. Nothing's more erudite than just dying early from heart disease. So we can go to the gymnasium or we can go to the maintenance office. I think that thing looks like it was cobbled together by the maintenance office guy. So I'm gonna pick to go there. So you knows what it is. I have come within touching distance of death in the past. So Oksan is still here. Oh, so Oksan saw someone. Someone covered in blood. It was a bird. So again, we did get like birdered. Like a bird killed us. This is like such a completely different game now. Kind of makes sense that libraries would be dead in the world of like smartphones and stuff. Like when I think back to like my school and how much room they had set aside for the library, I wonder um, 
hadn't been for me, none of it would have happened at all. So Nageki didn't... Is those birders ghost around? Like Nageki's is? Alright, so we're going back up to where we saw the killer robot. Quail's reflex when starts to fly through. We're learning science too. I like his pug doll here. So is he dead too? Wait, did this end because I I made a mistake? Oh, nope. Third class. Okay, so the broadcast is completely faked. The headmaster is dead. The dome over the school. We're reading our file on the human representative. This was something else I'd hope to read. Did you find the thing you forgot about? There are no rules here. If you want to find the truth, you need only to keep going. This is so weird. Humans never died out. The dome has always been there, and this is an experiment to study intelligent birds.
Well, so the bad ends to this game is that, like, the that you're being observed by like someone called the Hawks, and they mention that like the human has failed to attach to any bird successfully, and then they kill you. So, I mean, there is some stuff to support that, but it actually seems like the Hawks are in charge. <laughs> oh snap, the Scarecrow Man returns. It'd be amazing if Sake was killed by the Scarecrow because he refused to listen to someone that was beneath him. So now, he sees Nageki. here and spoke to me which claimed me one thing she is dead. So that's weird. Was I not dead? And then someone used fake body parts or something? Now I'm confused. Okay, so... I mean, yeah, the ghost bird could see other ghosts, but he did mention that, like, he doesn't think Birder died last night. He thinks Birder died, like, just now. Because he said, like, she just washed up, not said it wasn't, it wasn't yesterday. I'm stealing a little X-rated video of the Ether Tools. I 
I mean, most technology is advanced by the erotic industry, so it's believable. So it looks like we're, we're racing towards a decision here. I'm opening this dome. What is outside this dome? They got shot? Wow. Okay. At first I thought like okay, you know, maybe we would see a lab or something and we would find out that your theory might have some weight. But instead it appears to be open air. But there's there's the army out there or someone with guns. is like piling on the mysteries. predictions maybe it's like a human war oh he's finally gonna get a title card Leo Jamie <laughs> that that image One of the great soaring names of a Delft party, S-Class Agents. Secret Organization. Oh, so the Hawk Party must be the 
anti liberal humans party. There it is. Boom. Okay. So usually when I'm killed, I'm killed by the Hawks. Help humans and birds advance hand and feather. So I enroll one human in the school starting in the year 2187. Comes ready for a cemetery influenza. Displays for resistance. Will be a symbol of human concession to a hostage for birds. For representatives to die in the school, the entire campus will be sealed off, and all the birds inside will be given to the humans as prisoners. The seal will be lifted 12 hours after the death is confirmed, and the birds will be delivered to the humans. The school will be declared an extraterritorial zone, and avian protests of any human reprisal will not be tolerated. Wow. So... Eight hours to not have everyone die. I think the best play here for the birds is to find out who the real killer is. And then, like, willfully hand them over to the humans and, like, attempt to negotiate. Operation Hotelful. also the first documented uh, thing of like the birds being able to fly at all. I never mentioned they can fly till now. I'm guessing the other agent is Yuya. I mean the fact that he can hack and stuff really makes him suspicious.
Okay, so I can go to the library or look for the bird. It's hard for me to imagine what the library would have useful in it, other than like the history of the school. Um, which might have something to do with Operation Hotelful. Hmm. I mean, Leone JB told us to like do research. Okay, so Nogeki's here. So I assume we have to go to that locked records room where we got sealed in before. So I'm starting to wonder if Ryota is the person that that did the kill, and that's what everyone's like. Did you remember what you forgot? Tony Amy finding the school same year. Shikitsu inaugurated as headmaster. center shut down due to fire. I think he died in the basement where the fire started. To this, this Bolivian is. Doesn't surprise me that uh, Saki is anti ghost. I think I'd be playing How to Full Boyfriend this long, but I feel like I can't sleep without the answers. Like, I gotta know where this is going. A lot of like I think wasted double talk between Sakya and Ryota that's I guess there for like maybe younger audiences that like can't make the mental leaps themselves. No one 
came yesterday. In Iwamine's timeline, like, he kills Yuya and feeds him to Kaze. We are through the looking glass here, people. And the only people that would ever still be around are the people that have to know the truth. That have to know about Project Hotofo. like every other hallway. All right, here we go. Operation Hufflepuff. Empty. Dang. missing and there's two sixes. I certainly hope I can't, like, fail to find the answers. There shouldn't be a wall here. Like, once you know that, like, it's a life or death situation... It feels like, you know, anything can be okay. The Crimson Fallen Angel Angel. The manga club boy. Manga club boy. So I think this is like the character I never actually like interacted with. I never kept seeing like Angel as a choice on things. You actually have to RPG fight him? Game took another turn! <laughs> it suddenly turned into a JRPG. That was pretty cool.
he disrupted my territory. <laughs> Thinks he's got like a reality marvel. Oh man, he's got like true Chunin Pyo. Atmosphere. Clad in night. Oh my god. They nailed the dialogue on this guy. So much for looking for the bloodstained guy, we found him anyway. Burner Kaze, the Apostle of the Blue Sky. It will blow. Man, they crushed it with this guy's like crazy manga bobanga speech pattern it's awesome so we've caught those guys in like a straight up lie how many classes of this are there i wonder cuz like this has been going on for a while. Oh, so now we're Sakuya? There's no value in their lives? Is his dad Jeff Bezos? That's what I'm starting to wonder. Let's see. Okay, so... I hear my dog snoring. Oh my god. So loud. Okay, so still Sakia getting his instructions. So now we're going to be privy to Sakuya's internal thoughts. First is the massive key. Simple locks in school and is as bright and massive as its owner. The other is a stun gun. Okay. to the void Wallenstein. As long as you live, Calamity Sorcerer 
sure the world would be wrapped in eternal despair. No, stop. Do not throw me out like some wretched doll. <laughs> like, I like to think he, you know, talks like that. So this... This in Japanese assuredly is referring to the condition known as chunin byo, uh, where essentially you are so into manga that you start to believe that you yourself are a character in one. Exerting to limit its capacity at all times. I invited him to the school. Huh. You and Mina is playing like crazy amount of chess here. That expression on your face when the foundation collapses. <laughs> the massive key that just works on all doors. This is like so bizarre. Okay, so we're studying the medical records here. Oh, snap. Donked. So I wonder if Yuya is, uh, is the person that knocked him out and took the files back. You know, he still kills you when you date him. Um, they're saying that he's not that tough, but I mean, he threw, like, Yuya in the incinerator, he killed you. This all seems like a, you know, I'm not sure.
Alright, so you your returns. Like, this kind of lighthearted um, you know, jokes and stuff seem really out of place given the severity of the situation. Duty bound to answer. Yeah, I mean, Yuya feels super suspicious. My brother born of a low father is a worthless being. Okay, so he's a half-brother. Why don't you just bring Kazuaki with you? Like, more bodies is good. So they might have found her dead and cut up her body? Holy crap. Did we just get murdered?
So you just jump out the window? Oh, snap. Yeah, like, Iwamine is, uh, is some next level. The whole Japanese, like, when you're wounded, they always yell, like, no, don't speak, don't talk. But, like, that's the time you should definitely talk. Like, if, if you're dying, like, that's your best chance to talk. You def want to say something. Yeah, the doctor is a hawk operative. That's crazy. So, Sakia is his blood brother raised by the person who murdered their father because Yuya killed um, the legitimate heir to the LaBelle Empire. Yeah, it's true. On any kind of, like, DNA test, like, Iwamine would have noticed for sure that, like, he doesn't share any DNA with, uh, the LaBelle family. This music is so dramatic. had a lot of twists and turns. 
That was super dramatic. How many classes are there? Like, how much more can they put us through? Every time I think that, like, we're... We're, like, we've, we, we've got to be approaching the end. There's, like, there's still more. We are over three hours into this. This is so intense right now. Somewhere I forgot to look. So it's back to the library for us. I assume this is going to have like ramifications on who Sakia is as a person. Oh, so this this must be it. That must be the soul of Burger. This is so crazy. Like, why would why do you have to play so much of like the banal dating sim to like get to this? I guess it's to like up the impact, right? But I think the amount of people that have done this is probably way too low compared to the amount of people that have played it for laughs. Hottoful. Using carrier individuals as biological weapons to fight humans. New strains of the flu from Fujishiro Nageki is lethal to humans has been named the Shahran virus. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. So he killed himself to, like, try and stop the weapons development.
Wow, okay. Seventh class was brief, but I mean, we are getting the answers we asked for. I kept saying like I wanted answers. This game has been delivering hard answers. These guys have really figured out how to make this preposterous game with these birds and everything like I, I'm totally invested and thankfully I have no work tomorrow so I can ride this wave for an on hell the Chunin Bio. You now travel the abyss of despair, do you not? Dark sorcerer of Wallenstein. So I was locked in this room once before by Shirogane, or not by Shirogane, by uh, Iwamine. And then I got let out by Kazuaki and he like lectured Iwamine on it. Like, you know, like, hey, you almost let slip what you're up to. Yeah, I'm a little sad I didn't meet on hell in like the game normally, but oh well. We've already been three and a half hours in here. Imagine if I had still tried to run more. I'd be playing Hot Awful Boyfriend for weeks. Yeah, I threw the stun gun into the, like, water. They definitely should have pulled the mask off of, uh, that thing, though. Just, I'm so curious what was under the mask. I 
can't believe Saki is just in a room by himself, like, having, like, all this crazy mental breakdown. Oksania's oh, healing touch. Yes, Oksan is the pudding guy. Cool, I love pudding. Cool, cool, it's time to go. Oksan and friend are late. Not only did we not get it on with, with pigeons in the way that we thought, but this game got dark and weird. Like, insanely weird. This last chapter, so... You're supposed to, like, work your way by through all of the dating to get access to this chapter, which takes... Like, way, way, way too long. So, um, after being a bunch of people's stories, I just decided to grab a save off the internet to unlock the final section. The final section is, like, its own two-hour-long mystery. And it's, like, super intense and starts cracking all the secrets of the world. This has been super intense. But the this bird with the red breast has a chewing and bio. <laughs> so he talks in like complete nonsense. Which is actually like fairly dead on anime nonsense. Yeah, I wish I'd played through on Hells before getting the save file, but I never ran into him at all. I might do like a quick speed run of it. I got birdered. That's the story we're on now. Alright, finally Shu Iwamine shows himself. No, that's shoes color.
So I think this is gonna be some kind of decision point. We'll save it here. Operation Hottleful. So Ryota is the new carrier because of this weakened immune system. snap so he had the Sharon virus and just killed Kaze by proximity well more super bird flu but yes So this is why he cut my head off when he murdered me.
Avatar of Miasma. Damn. Oh. oh man, this is nuts. Demon Ryota. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're in like the last 5% of the, uh, the game. But yeah, thanks for stopping in. This has been a completely insane journey. I thought I was going to be asleep a long time ago, bro. A long time ago. Dang.
Demon Red Eye Herald be awakening? Wow. Do we coo or do we coo coo? Coo coo, I assume, has a higher MP cost, but let's go for it. Is this it? Rio does a vegetarian and shouldn't exert himself. Oh, wow. I mean, the HeLa cells that they're referring to here are real. They're from um, that, uh, that, that black woman that died many years ago, and now they're used commonly in medical experiments uh, for cancer research. Henrietta Lacks. She died in 1951. Well, then give her credit. She's a uh, an African American hero that not anybody knows outside the medical profession for the most part. Um, you know, I I don't know what the family feels, and quite honestly, uh. It doesn't super matter, you know? I think what matters is, you know, recognizing the benefit to humanity.
Okay, wow, so this all ties to Friota's dead father. Damn, seventh class had all the answers. And they're still in eighth class. What more could we learn here? Oh yeah, I suppose that's true. If we even if we disable the virus, we've we've only set it up so that everybody in here is gonna die. Oh my god. I've been clicking so much that my <sighs> my arm actually now hurts from the effort of clicking. Alright, I'm moving to mouse driven. We must open the gate of Tartarus in the depths of the abyss. <laughs> we only have about 10 minutes until the humans come in from above. I see you are still alive, gentlemen. Leon. I bring with me all those who have taken refuge in the gym. Mr. Shirogane, I will recover Sakazaki's body before I leave. Have no fear. I am grateful to you. Lex is no doubt activated by the vital signals of the researchers who work here. Torrance, do not fear. I shall lead you to it. Cool, cool. The doctor is even creepier when he's being cooperative. I do not base my actions. was the birder the whole time. Like, birder or prime. Doctor, I shall not forget what has taken place here. Once we are outside, I shall see that you face judgment. Your words are haughty and immature as always. Do as you please if you can. I will indeed. Remember my face, villain. Well, who knows? I find you uninteresting, so I may well forget. I must think carefully about my plans once I'm outside. I still have much research to do. Was that Leon? Oh shit! Bird with a gun!
This is the end of your research. Nanaki, what are you? Stop, the doctor should have a trial. A fair trial. Hmm. What do you think, doctor? I, I'm impressed at your acuity and in, in attacking my uninjured left side. But of course. Thank you. Tell me, Dr. Iwa... No, Isa. I need to bring him back with me. That's why I've done all this. Tell me, where is Nageki? Oh, is that it? <laughs> I had quite forgotten. Mr. Fujishiro's brother, he was a quail. I don't know who Hitori is. So this is his brother, I guess. Full house. I don't see how Nanaki is related to Hitori. comes the Iwamine involvement inviting Nageki to come after they realize that he's carrying the Sharon virus. So Isa Soma is uh, Iwamine's real name.
Hitori, by the way, is, uh, I believe, Japanese for, like, just a singular person. Just one. Uzune Hitori. So Kazuaki is completely a rebuild of Hitori. It pleases you to call those bits of me Fujishiro and Mizuki. I will not attempt to stop you. But those pieces have already been transferred to Mr. Karada's body. You won't die yet, he said. Don't worry. So tell me, where is Mikeki? I have to take him home now. It's in Mr. Kawai's liver. The cells from his body that contain the shard of ice are now inside Mr. Kawai. Oh, is that it? I see. Thank you, Mr. Hold on just a little bit longer. I need to ask Nageki what he thinks we should do with him. Can you hear me, Nageki? I'm sorry I made you wait so long. I don't know what happened in the past, Nanaki, but this is not the time for such foolery. We only have a few minutes before the humans enter. It won't take them long to find this place. Hmm. Could you move over for a second, Shirogami? I need to talk to Kawara. Come on, Kawara. Let's go in that room. Just the two of us. Actually, I already dated Kazuaki successfully. Uh, but yes, it now explains why he could see Nageki. It makes sense now. But yeah, like, I'd already dated uh, Kazuaki, and he mentioned that, you know, someone, the only person he ever loved had died, and I thought it was supposed to be a woman. This is the true long game.
Dude, I didn't expect, like, bird, ghost, liver, transplant, bioengineering, human war, murder, mad science, the game. Like, what? Where are we? <laughs> like, how did we come this far? Now there is Shadow Nageki. Oh my god. Not sure which way to go here. I didn't save in a while. I may have made a huge mistake. <laughs> um... I can't believe we're seeing this right now. So they're eating a uh, grain called mille, which is like even cheaper than rice. Um, if you watch like uh, like old Kurosawa movies, the peasants talk about how they eat mille every day, and then like you know when they actually have a chance to eat like white rice, they're like, oh, it's like such a big deal, like what a treat. Better save just in case something goes wrong here.
How unexpected, if it were me, your insights would have divulged themselves in their secrets long ago. Indeed he was. The facility was sealed off, so it was hardly difficult to keep people from snooping around. I'm staying here with Kaze. What are you saying, Kawara? Come with us at once. Hmm, I see, Kawara. I thought you might say that. The Sharon virus has, by now, colonized your body quite completely. For you to leave, any humans you encounter would suffer a painful death. What? Was this your plan all along, you conniving physician? Surely there is a way to remove the virus. Alas, that would be impossible with current medical technology. Once established in the body, it's quite tenacious. Even if we were to remove the tissues from Mr. Fujishiro, Mr. Kawara would still carry the virus. Madness! Lunacy! <laughs> The same goes for Miss Berger's damaged brain. It is currently preserved inside a glass jar, but just barely. Indeed, given Labor 9's behavior and subsequent damage she was dealt, there is no guarantee that her personality and memories are still even retrievable. With our current medical technology, anyway. Shirogane, let's go outside. You want me to leave Kawara here? How deep does your selfish nature run? We'll come back for him. It's impossible now, but one day, we may be able to remove the virus from his body. And I think that Nageki would say the same. Well, Mr. Shirogane, I think perhaps you would do well to respect Mr. Kawara's thoughts on the matter. I feel as if one day has brought an entire lifetime's worth of fatigue. Man, this is so crazy. the fabled I'll be waiting achievement. That's what the save file was labeled like. The, this, this will get you the I'll be waiting achievement. I did not know that like we were going for an insane ride like this. Wow. There's actually one more achievement that can be gotten after this. It requires a save file that has like every ending fully beaten, including all like variant endings. But after four hours and 12 minutes. Oh, is this a flashback? He didn't die? He, f he f was faking?
Lola said, man, it's inconceivable. <laughs> Give me back the time I spent morning. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Why does it keep saying bright and massive? I can't believe Iwamine gets to live through this. Or maybe this will actually get me the last achievement. Because that, that was an epilogue. Yeah, there it is. Okay. At the dawn. Okay, that was the last bit. That was the... Yeah, that was the, like, secret extra ending is that... Um, apparently, dude forgives Iwamine. Uh, they do come back for Ryota... Um, and everyone, like, goes back to school, and, I mean, you know, Birder has got to be dead. I mean, she was in a brain in a jar, like, hooked up to a robot, like, I can't see how they're going to bring her back at all in any real way. Um, but it seems like they can save Ryota. Yeah, I feel... Like, I had no idea how deep this well was going to go. Um, that was, that was some absolutely insane stuff. It's definitely, I'm glad we did this in one sitting, even though it was four straight hours. Way beyond, like, where I wanted to quit streaming. I'm, I'm glad I did it because, like, I can finally, like, close this book and, like, way close it out. Um, definitely the smartest play I ever made was, uh, going to grab that save file. <laughs> that was, that was the way. Um, so thank you to, uh, Steam user Makovi Panacek. Um, he did this because I guess, like, there was issues with the, um, the actual achievements and getting them all unlocked so he put up a google drive and notated all the different save files you need and stuff like really really cool that he went through all that work to help out but um yeah also just like saved me a ton of backtracking and skipping scenes and stuff because we would have been at it for quite a while there were several characters we hadn't completed yet and then to get the epilogue there's uh variants where um you have to answer a different answer at one crucial point and it changes how the ending happens um so yeah like i'm just i am relieved that uh it can be over and i can close this um cloaca filled chapter of my life <laughs> man there was murder and betrayal and um lies and deceit and weapons and war and tragedy and redemption and forgiveness we learned it all uh tonight so um 
I don't think anyone is ever going to watch this. I am starting to back up my stuff to YouTube as of today. I found out that most of my Final Fantasy gameplay has been dropped by Twitch. Um, apparently they delete them much more quickly than I realized. So uh, I'm now backing things up to my YouTube channel, which is also Kroy Kaze. So um, thank you. Uh, if you do happen to have seen this, and thank you, obviously, Viltris, for riding shotgun uh, on this journey into madness. Um, uh, what what a crazy night this was. I guess a good way to start my vacation. You know, today's day one of it. Anyway, I am the Croy Kaze. You can find me uh, wearing wing bling over at Twitter slash Croy Kaze, or you'll find me on Twitch at the Croy Kaze, as you might know from seeing this, or on YouTube now, I guess. Um, I'll have to start cleaning up my YouTube channel. Uh, but, yeah, how awful boyfriend, who knew? I didn't hear anyone talk about how insane the end of this game was. I don't think 95% of the people that bought this game probably saw this. They probably never made it past the bird dating. <sighs> so, yeah. Thanks, Viltris. Thanks to anyone else. Have a good one. I'm the filthiest casual, and I am out.